What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Brad Patrol, back at it again with another video. As you can see, we've got Bo here. We're at home just hanging out. It's our day off today. Bo actually just turned a year old not too long ago. And uh, yesterday was his official one-year gotcha date. The day that I picked him up one year ago today. Well, yesterday, technically. This video is going to be pretty short. It's just a short little update video. Our life's been kind of crazy recently. Um, but I just want to kind of go over uh, some certain updates for you guys kind of keep you guys informed um i know you guys saw my video of my tattoo being removed on my hand um i'm not sure if i really touched on why i'm getting that done but uh the reason is because i'm trying to join the military uh, my goal is to join the vermont army national guard uh, my mos i'm looking into is 12 bravo right now combat engineer uh, nothing is set in stone of course because i have the hand tattoo i have already taken my asvabs i have already been to meps in albany new york um, everything's good to go except for my hand tattoo. Um, I have had two sessions now done uh, to get it removed. We're thinking probably about five or six total. Um, so we're almost halfway there. Um, the only thing that sucks is the time frame really. Um, it's about three or four weeks between treatments. So it's a really long process to get a tattoo removed. Um, everybody asks me if it hurts. Honestly, it really doesn't. Granted, there you know, are different pain tolerances and there's also um, you know the size of the tattoo it matters a lot. Um, but honestly, for me, on my hand, it didn't hurt that much. Um, the process is pretty simple. Um, if you haven't watched my previous video, the process is really simple, actually. Um, they pretty much blow negative 22 degrees Fahrenheit um, air on on the tattoo to, to freeze it, pretty much. And then um, after it's, it's frozen, it kind of looks like frostbite to me. Um, that's when the laser can actually pick up the ink out of it and um the uh the doctor actually showed me the laser on like a different part of my skin um just to see that it wouldn't actually like zap my regular skin it only pulls where the ink is um so i thought that was pretty cool i'm using the front facing camera as you can see it's definitely still there Bo is definitely wanting to be the, the star of the show here as you can see it's definitely still there uh, but it is lightening up quite a bit which i'm really excited about um, it's just a waiting game at this point. I go back in a week to get the third one done. Then we'll be uh, literally halfway there. I guess now would also be a really good time to like touch base and update with you guys. I don't know really my demographic yet because I don't post on here a whole lot anymore. But um, for you younger guys out there or for people in general who are first getting tattoos, <laughs> don't get something on your hand or your face or your neck. Or anything like that because it, uh, it will hinder your progress further on in life um, honestly I love the tattoo if it was you know if I could just keep it I would but in this career path that I want to go down uh, joining the military it's just not not a feasible option for me so I decided to uh, man up so to speak and uh, get it removed I think that's the responsible thing to do and um, that's so that's what I'm gonna do like I said I've already had two treatments done um, I can't really turn back now. Um, so that's how I knew, like I was dedicated to joining, um, and that sort of thing, because I'm willing to remove, um, a tattoo on my hand. Not only that, it also is costing me, uh, about $600 roughly to get it removed. Granted, this was an $80 tattoo <laughs> that I've had for like three years. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to make smarter choices and, um, just keep in mind that I know no, like everybody says it, but nobody really thinks about it. Like, yes tattoos are permanent they will be on your body for the rest of your life unless you get them removed and removing them is expensive so just keep that in mind if you decide to get a new tattoo um <laughs> yeah that's pretty much all i got for that so as of right now guys i don't have any sort of like ship date or anything like that to go to basic training and then iit um just because i am still waiting on the tattoo to be 100 percent gone uh, before i can do that um which kind of sucks i mean if i hadn't had the tattoo when I went to MEPS the first time, I could have, you know, sworn in and got a ship date right then. But uh, I believe everything happens for a reason. So this is just kind of like a test for me to see that I really do want to join, which of course I do. Um, so, you know, I'm not really upset about it. You know, it's it, it happens. Um, I knew that when I got the tattoo that there would be a possibility of it holding me back and I didn't care. I was young and dumb. But um, now I'm kind of facing the consequences, so to speak. Once again, I don't regret the tattoo. I love the tattoo. Um, but it's uh, time for me to kind of mature a little bit more and uh, move on to a smarter career path.
I also wanted to update you guys that I finally purchased my first brand new firearm. Um, it is a Taurus G2C 9mm handgun. Um, I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for the brand. Um, and you guys are really going to hate the color. But it, uh, it fits my personality so well. It is going to be a... It's my everyday carry. I've had it for about a week and a half now. Um, and I just... I love it. So this is my Taurus G2C... 9 millimeter, as you can see right there, in purple. I love the purple. I've got a lot of hate for it in the past, um, but I just I absolutely love it. My goal is to get a, a, a green hydro dip done on the slide there. That way it kind of matches my colors. As of course, everybody you guys know, uh, my colors are green and purple. It's just kind of what I love. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm very fascinated. This is the first new gun purchase I've ever made. And uh, I love it. It's uh, it's incredible. That's pretty much all I got for you guys. Short, sweet, and to the point. I know um, I really got to start recording more. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, it's, I'm kind of like, I'm at a, a hard point right now because I don't really, ha it's winter here in Vermont. I don't have a whole lot to record. Um, I got a different car. Um, some shit went down. I got rid of the Subaru. But that is a topic for a different video. Um, other than that, like, yeah, I just don't, I don't have a whole lot to record, you know, it's just Bo and I just living life, you know, go to work, come home, hang out with Bo, that's pretty much it, um, uh, follow my TikTok, that's where I post, like, the majority of stuff nowadays, um, it's the same username, I think it's, uh, it's either at Brat Patrol, or it is at Brat.Patrol, um, but yeah, I'll see if I can't link that down below, but go ahead and follow me on that one, guys. That's uh, where I post the most. I just want to kind of give you a short update here. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.